Hi, well, welcome back. It's a place more than ever winter. I wanted to talk a little bit about solo play today. Uh, I happen to do a lot of that. Uh, I am in a guild, uh, Chronic Legion is the name of the guild. In case you're interested in checking that out, uh, you're more than welcome to. I don't do a lot of chatting, no. Uh, usually when I'm playing, I'm recording or just kind of grinding away. Uh, so uh, please don't be offended if uh, uh, I don't do a... <laughs> If I don't see your chat, a lot of times I keep that box pretty small at the bottom of the screen, so I do miss stuff, and uh, I don't do it intentionally. It's just uh, uh, I do a lot of playing on a laptop, too, and uh, it's got kind of a small screen, so it's hard to see the chat. Uh, plus, like I said, I'm usually grinding away and paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you, you I don't mind a little, uh, if you're trying to get my attention about something, uh, you know, you can go ahead and hit the message me a couple times. Just don't be offended if I don't answer right away because I might not see it. In fact, you're probably better off uh, posting something to the video because uh, I do check that and it's uh, just an easier place to get in touch with me. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I uh, really with the things I have going on in my life other than gameplay, I, I do, I hate to get into dungeon groups, uh, especially if I can't for the time commitment. Uh, it's nothing like going into a dungeon and having a key player drop out on you uh, right in the middle of the action and uh, you're unable to complete it. It's frustrating and um, you don't want to get a bad reputation by doing that with your guild mates or people that are in an alliance with you. Uh, it's uh, just not a good place to be. It's it's not, not cool. Uh, so there are a couple things I do, uh, especially for some of my less strong characters uh, to help with survivability. Um, I don't like to ask for help um, just because of that. Uh, you know, and I do give some help when I can, but uh, you know, I am kind of a loner in the game. and uh, So I do a couple things to help make it through without requiring a lot of extra assistance. <clears throat> One companion I found that is pretty helpful to me is the Battlefield Medic. Uh, right now they're pretty inexpensive especially on the PC version. Go ahead and type that in here real quick. I have this uh, for several of my characters. I have found when I have this particular character with me, it helps, gives me just a little bit of an edge, a little bit of a healing edge, uh, rather than doing everything with extreme damage. A lot of people like to really bump their DPS up. Uh, I like to be able to survive too, so I don't have to keep repeating dungeons uh, when I can. And really, with this being so inexpensive right now, uh, I thought I'd mention this one to you. I went through and bought this for uh, several of my alternate characters right now. Usually, normally it floats between 100 and 120,000. Uh, these were given up as uh, part of an event recently, so they've dropped down in price a good bit. But you get an active bonus of a plus 6% incoming healing bonus, and then the powers are advanced healing, aid all, combat heal, expert leader, master leader, and you have some defensive slots uh, which you can use that can help uh, benefit you. If you've never paid any attention to those slots, um, let me show you something here. For a fairly inexpensive way, I, you see, I only have some rank 5s in here. Now, I'm not doing real super high level stuff right now, so I don't need it, but I have an Eldritch Runestone as opposed to a Bonding, but it gives me 7% uh, of the pet's ratings. Um, I have two of those in there right now, and then I got this little, I just bought this little offensive stone here. It uh, gives the character plus 250 of power, which is nice. And uh, for the waist, I just uh, equipped an inexpensive Archmage's Archbelt. Uh, I think I paid about 10000 for that and that there, too. Um, we have the waist slot still available. Now, I could upgrade these if I felt like it. I just don't feel like it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. But uh, just to give you an idea, like with that uh, offensive stone I got there, there's really no reason not to bump these up a little bit because they're so inexpensive. Um, let's see, which one did I get? The Empowered Runestone. See if I can find one there. Yeah, see, it's about... I just paid 8000 for the one I got, so it's fairly inexpensive. And in an offensive slot, it's plus 250 to power. Uh, so, very cheap way to level you little dudes up fairly quickly. Now, we'll go ahead and select something for the waste while you're watching here. See what we have available. I want to go right to 
epic quality here. Looking for something cheap. Really till further in the game, I don't recommend spending a lot of Astro Diamonds on your companion characters. Uh, I'd rather spend those on refining, upgrading <coughs> the refining stones that I have or the enchantments that I have uh, to upgrade descent. my critical strike, armor penetration, movement speed, stuff like that, uh, or you know, spending on uh, refining stones. Resident stones to upgrade my artifact weapons and equipment, stuff like that. So that's where I would I spend the bulk of my astral diamonds uh, up until you know you get your character up to item level 3500. You pretty much have everything. Uh, then you can go back and start upgrading your companions uh, to get some of the better the bonding rune stones and stuff like that, or greater bonding rune stones because uh, it is very expensive. You're better off, I think, uh, for survivability purposes and for damage purposes, just uh, to equip, spend your time equipping your primary character. That's how I like to play it. But a nice little healer companion can keep you alive during those, some of those tough battles. Just give you a little bit of an edge. And you can see here for about 12,000 I can get something. I can get some little bit of recovery and lifesteal on this. See how much. Yeah, 23,000 I can get one. Okay, so that gives a little bit of a bonus to power and defense. An alliance with Neverwinter will benefit us all. You see, this requires level 70. I'm almost there, so I can get something like this fairly inexpensive. So I'm, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money right now because I'm almost at 70. <laughs> but uh, for the purposes of showing you, let me just go ahead and grab one here, I guess. Recovery I don't worry too much about, but uh, we'll go ahead and just grab one because it's cheap. So recovery and lifesteal. Now, let me go to my character sheet here. See, my recovery is currently at 201, and life steal is at 2088. So, go over to my companion. Grab my little uh, piece I just bought from the auction house. and equip this little goodie right there. Voila! Now I go back to my character sheet. And you see my recovery was at 201. I got a little bit of a bump from that. Uh, it's up to 229. And this is a way your characters can help you out. And I have lifesteal. It's up to 2116. And it was at 2088. So get a little bit of a bump from having a companion there. So that's another way your companions can be helpful to you. And this is in my active companion slot here. You can see I can have one, two, three, four, five. Five companions total. So all of these little items help add to my stats. And uh, now I have a pretty nice little healer dude kind of hang out with me. And... Uh, so we can make life a little bit easier for us. Go ahead and take a quick run through here. Do the uh, battle for Your Sharadar. help with our community is appreciated. Day by day, we exhaust our magical Get power those, holding uh, back Malabog's forces. Some fave. We must report sparks. All right, let's jump in here and see if that uh, does any good for us. Oops, I'm sorry. I don't know if you watched a uh, previous episode, I had a little bit of trouble getting through here. I was getting killed. I'll keep us in the fight. 
not constantly, but enough that it was slightly aggravated. Go ahead and pick up a couple of these missions. Lady Winterwax has since we're in the here. Caps a million. We will rid our woods of the blight. My main intention is obviously to, to create the light of the dark. Show you that my little helper is in fact helpful, day and I did it. Day. But there is not much a great that cost. Be Before the blight, I could. The red caps guard their picket homes with dangerous If you noticed, I had these other and we must active uh, companions that did not have anything equipped. Um, that's because really, until recently, I wasn't having a whole lot of trouble with the, uh, death. Um, and I'll balance that out. I'll start to equip those other characters. Um, in fact, there really aren't companions that I'll keep. Uh, I got a couple of those. Yeah, this, this guy I just picked up. I haven't really played with him yet. He was about uh, 3,000 Astral Diamonds, so I figured, out ah, why not? Saw so somebody else had one. Looked cool, so I thought I'd grab it. This I paid a couple gold pieces for. Protector's Enclave early on. Didn't really use it at all. But I knew I liked that Battlefield Medic, and it went cheap, so I went ahead and got it. But uh, I'll start slowly adding items to those characters as well. You can also look too. I don't have much slotted here. It's uh, mainly just because I haven't needed it and uh, it's kind of a pain in the neck at these lower levels. These things turn over pretty quickly and I don't feel like taking time to unequip the enchantments over and over again. Why? Uh, <laughs> just because I feel lazy sometimes. <laughs> no other excuse. Oh, I missed it there here somewhere. There he is. So you can see I was getting swarmed by those other nasty creatures and we were able to hold on pretty well. In fact, I'll show you another way to look at that. Let me go down to the log here. You can see my little healer was giving me uh, some help here. If you look at the orange, it shows how my companion was helping me out there, what uh, was processing as we were going through that. If you didn't know you could do that, that's a nice little way to double check your stuff to make sure that you're uh, getting some bang for your buck. Uh, sometimes these different things do not work or don't process well. Sometimes people will post for that, but uh, if you're like a lot of people, you don't have time to go look up all that, all those little tidbits and odds and ends, so you might not even realize you're not getting any benefit from uh, some of the items you've equipped for yourself or your companion. But uh, this is a nice way to double check some of that. Nice easy way to take a look at it in this little battle. Here you can see what's processing from yourself and what your companion is giving to you. Kind of a fun little thing to keep an eye on. Here we'll go hit these guys too. Very cool. I'm not struggling nearly as much with this level, which is a very nice thing. Um, so you can see I didn't have to wait around and ask for help from somebody else. I'm able to just go into this and do it. Yeah. 
then I don't have to be concerned about hopping in and out of the game. If I get a phone call or I have to take care of something, then, uh, you know, it's like, hey, let my companion help me out. I don't have to feel bad because I have to bail out on somebody who I've asked help for or from. Go ahead and hit another one since we're in here. This is kind of fun. It gives me a little bit of uh, tankability here. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to see. Hopefully you can see that orange okay on your screen. If not, let me know. I'll do I can do another segment. I mean you can know how to check it out yourself now too to see how these things process. And uh you really have no excuse for getting a decent healer companion, especially while these prices are down low. I know those astro diamonds can be precious. Hard to come by, especially if you don't have time to do a lot of grinding and stuff. Oh, look at that, that's just hanging out right there for us. Now, if you have anything that you do, any particular companions that you like, let me know. Uh, there are some good ones uh, for sale right now. I'll show you another one uh, some people were buying up. I think uh, and what we'll go into here right now. So you have a lot of uh, companions that are fairly inexpensive. Go ahead and jump up that uh, epic. A lot of times it's less expensive to buy an epic companion right off the bat instead of upgrading them later. In fact, it's always a good idea to start looking here. This is one uh, some people have been buying out too. It's a nice little companion. I spot it on L-I-L-L-E-N-D. But uh, 
On daily use, you heal nearby friends 2% of their maximum hit points once every 30 seconds. Uh, some of the people in our Guild Alliance were talking about this. They've been buying these up. So, anyway, it's just something different for you to take a look at if you're ready to heal in companions. And that's a good time to buy some that are very cheap. And that'll give you, definitely give you more survivability. Hope that's helpful to you. I'll do some more segments on this because uh, I do do a lot of solo play. So, I hope that's helpful. Come back so we can play again.